It has been nine years since voters in Washington passed Initiative 937 with 52% of the vote. This is the measure that mandates the use of renewable energy by large utilities. Let's talk about the initiative for a moment and your concerns. Well, first of all, it probably sounded better than it turned out to be. And uh, it's a mandate, and that's the problem. It uh, requires larger utilities in the state of Washington, those utilities having more than 25,000 customers, to have renewable energy in their electric portfolios. And I'd like to show you a chart that describes this. Okay, so first of all, there was a projection made back in 2006 in regards to the need for new power. And that's this green line that goes over into the years into the future. I-937 requires utilities to have uh, renewable energy in their portfolio, which is 3% by 2009 up to 16% by 2000. Uh, 16 and then by 2020, 15% of renewable expensive energy in their portfolios. Now there's been some new requirements or new studies, I should say, that show the orange line and the yellow line as to what is the future projection for new electricity, otherwise new loads. You can readily see those are below what is mandated for utilities to have for renewable energy in their portfolio. So anytime that utilities are forced or mandated to buy this expensive power, even though they may not have an outlet and they may not have a customer to sell it to, that's going to create a real expense for utilities and consumers. And that's my concern. We need to correct this somehow. What can we do to fix this law? One bill uh, that I have sponsored this year is 1352, which uh, is called Incremental Hydro. It helps a little bit because in the, in the 937 initiative, it said that if hydro can improve, such as new turbines or new raceways and so forth, to make it more efficient from hydro, that those utilities get credit for that. And so I've introduced a bill and it's already received a hearing that's, that uh, says that those utilities using that electricity get credit for that more efficient use of electricity, which is hydro going through our dams. So what does this mean for the consumer? Well, hopefully, if that bill passes, it'll certainly save them money. There is testimony from one utility that would save the customers about $200,000 a year, but that spread out. I mean, there's other utilities, too, that will receive this benefit. It will uh, help almost every utility in the state of Washington. How can people get more information on this or other issues? Well, they can contact me uh, at representativeterryneely.com, and that is shown on your screen right now, or call the hotline or call my office in Olympia.